Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we messed up the audio. I we promise not to do it again, but we might. <laughs> We're just a bunch of little piss babies. <laughs> hear me daddy my name is blake and i'm your host and today with me we have schoolboy nick how are you doing nick fine and also we have dog trainer holly which if there's some background audio right now that would be the trainee holly how have you been uneasy (laughs) but i'm good so this is kind of a continuation of what we talked about last week's episode uh, we mentioned that we were getting a dog, and so the dog's name is Jane. She's probably 40 pounds now, so she's a bit bigger. They said that she was a tree walker coon hound, but we're pretty sure she's a beagle, a carry beagle, to yeah, be precise. So she's a foreign import, kind of like kind of like how you like buy a wife from Russia. Isn't that where you do it? Or Asia. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't have the money for a Russian one. Yeah, but, let's get an Asian one. Yeah, so... Right now, she is just digging into. She chews a lot. Everything in this room. But she's one years old. And so we're sorry if there's any weird audio. Uh, yeah. So while we're on the subject of dogs, I want to talk about how I I respect dogs in a couple ways. One thing is since we've had her, I've been walking her a lot, and I respect that a dog can go outside and now I mean they have to be ready because she definitely likes to pick a spot. And usually like a corner or something, which I I guess I would too. But I respect that it's like when she has to go, the process takes like five seconds if it's like a long one. And I kind of wish that I was able to really do that. I wish that I was able to say like, like, I feel it coming. I go and start scratching on the bathroom door until someone lets me in. And then once I do get in, (laughs) I may just have to stop wearing pants if I was like this because... (laughs) I would just, (laughs) I'm sorry, I would just run over the toilet and then just in about two seconds, just really give it, (laughs) give it all and then just walk away. And the thing is, dogs don't have to wipe either. And I also envy that. Maybe that's less of a respect thing and more of an envy thing. I mean, first of all, it would really Well, we technically don't have to wipe, but we're not living in like barbaric times anymore. Even though I've, I've encountered some situations where dogs need to wipe. (laughs) You mean like just a really bad one? Or wear a one? diaper. Yeah. I don't smell dogs. Yeah. Well, one thing, uh, I feel bad about saying this because I feel like I'm giving away like her secrets. T- Jane, stop me if I'm if you don't want me to tell anyone this, but she must have eaten. I, I She's been chewing her fur a bit lately, and I think that maybe she swallowed some or something, but there was like a point where we went outside. <laughs> I think it's the and grass. She, she went to the ba- uh, but she went to the restroom, and it kind of just hung around, like it stuck around. <laughs> And I had to, like, I grabbed a stick and I kind of it had a pinata party until it was down. But and Poor Jane. I, fig- I figure this is, is this the best thing to start off a show with is poop talk? As more, it, this is less poop talk and more bathroom talk. And the thing is, we're not at a kitchen table right now. And unless you're just playing this out of your spe- the speaker of your phone, then you should be eating. fine. Or I mean, it's biology or it's like. Or zoology. What poop talk? What were we talking about? Yeah. Okay, well, this is our podcast uh, within Jane, a podcast. Jane the canine had a fiber reinforced excrement <laughs> hanging from her doo-doo ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is our podcast within a podcast, Scat Chat. And tomorrow we're coming at you with some bear scat. <laughs> and bear I wish poop. mine looked like bear poop. <laughs> it's full well, of berries. I don't know specifically about bears, but rabbits. They, oh yeah, rabbits. They eat their poop. Oh, okay. Ew. I thought we were going in different directions. I, I, I think guess, rabbit. 
poop is then, nice because it's all very solid. I've never seen a rabbit have diarrhea. Yeah. And the thing is, if you want rabbit poop, you have to eat that good. You have to eat grape nuts every morning. And that's it's hard to do. I Grape nuts is one of those cereals that looks like it could taste okay, but it really doesn't. And it's extremely hard. Well, what's what's the reason for the name? Grape nuts. <laughs> Now, with rabbit poop, I bet the reason that they eat it, and the thing is, I've heard survivalists say this, that you can eat certain animals' poop because the the they eat grass and stuff. And so you don't do this to cows because cows have multiple stomachs, and it, like, gets redigested and digested. So by the time it comes out, it's not good. All right. It's not not good. It has no n- nutritional value. <laughs> so could we eat our poop, then? Your, your flavor poop. No, I don't think we could. Well, no, okay. The the reason we can't eat our poop is because we're omnivorous. If you were Nick, could yeah, you eat like, your poop? <laughs> we could eat Nick's poo. <laughs> but the thing is, I bet our stomachs are too tough to be able to do that. Have we all learned really what we wanted to learn from Scat Chat today? Like, are we able to close this segment? Uh, I was trying to do a little research. Because uh, I wanted to see what camel poop looked like. Because I guess like they 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 try to conserve water. So does it come out kind of like sand? <laughs> well, I, I, <laughs> I was about know. to say or dirt. You're just in the desert and you feel more. It's like is a sandstorm whipping up, but you're standing behind a camel. <laughs> you know how in movies, whenever people kind of like melt into dust, it looks like that's happening to the camel's backside. But that's what I, I was thinking that maybe camels poop, but whenever they do. They try to make it into like two or three mounds to kind of, it's kind of like making a snowman, but they're making a camel out of it. And then they say, hump day, because that one's funny. Geico actually took that because camels say hump day all the time. Well, all right. Well, because I, I think, mm-hmm. or I, I'm pretty sure camels have a more gelatinous pee than other animals because they, because like, they want to keep the water. They don't want to waste water. So it comes out thick. So I was trying to see if camel poop was special, but it's basically like poop. Even though there's two, there there's two things that came up uh, about World War Two. German Did soldiers. Did they have to eat? German soldiers. Poop? I guess like the doctors gave it to them to cure a disease. Dysentery. To cure what? Dysentery. Trench foot. I don't know. I think it was. Yeah, it was dysentery. Ah! <laughs> Wait, dysentery is what happens whenever you eat poop, right? No, dysentery is when you... Uh, yeah, you start off that sentence pretty confident. No, it's about like... It's when you have severe diarrhea. So dysentery... I think dysentery happens from drinking dirty water. And that's funny uh, that they would give you It can um, make poop. you have like hallucinations. 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 <laughs> I was about to say hallucinogens. And... Hallucinations can only happen after you... Well, the thing is, camels eat so many mushrooms that just by eating their poop, you, you get some and hallucinations. Like that that, that, that is also a thing. It makes your body shut down. It's not, it's, not in, it's not camels, but reindeer. People in like Scandinavia drink reindeer pee because they do eat hallucinogenic mushrooms. All right, everybody. If... Holly, you speak. Hello. If Holly's audio was weird in the beginning, we're sorry about that. She, we, we just fixed it, though. So don't worry. The mic was just messed up for a really shitty portion, so. About poop? That Hey, that was the joke. Yeah. Hey. Uh, but I feel like every podcast has to talk about poop at some point. Let's think about the podcast that would <laughs> never talk about poop. What podcast would that be completely forbidden in? I would say the main podcast that it would be forbidden in is the podcast named Let's See How Far How Many Episodes We Can Get Without Talking About Poop. So now that that question has been answered, let's answer the other question which has been on people's minds, which is what song are we talking about today? Can I give a hint? Oh, or, or you could just tell. <laughs> Their name is close well, to Geico Insurance. What? <laughs> well, I mean, it is. Well, because these people, or one of them, wanted to order one gecko online, and accidentally, somehow, 100 geckos came in the mail. So that's literally the... Okay, so yeah, the name of the band today is 100 Gecks, and you're saying that there is a backstory, there is lore to their yeah. name? 
Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's more than I can say for most people. Like, why is marshmallow card mar- called marshmallow? Oh, yeah, I really like marshmallows. Or, oh, yeah, I burnt my face when I was a child <laughs> and a bear ate it off. Like a, like a campfire marshmallow. But it's probably just because he wanted a helmet and, he went, and it was like, yeah, I want a helmet, but Dead Mouse had to put all that work into making the sphere. What if I just made it a cylinder and, oh, I'm marshmallow. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm looking at it. His stage name and alternative spelling of marshmallow and his marshmallow mascot head were both inspired by Canadian electronic music producer Dead Mouse, who notably uses an alternate spelling for his stage name and performs wearing a Dead Mouse mascot head. <laughs> so it doesn't explain Wait, where do he you got mean? Do you mean Dead Mouse 5? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought we were talking about Dead Mouth Five there, but while we're speaking about a hundred geckos, what would you, what would you? Okay, it's weird that you can order animals online, right? Yeah. Holly, what do you think about that? You just said yeah, but I need you to put some more work into an answer. I mean, like exotic animals. What? So it's okay to order like a cricket? Yeah. I, I think I, technically, I think I would agree with you there. But I don't think you can buy crickets online. You just go to your bait shop, your local bait shop. I'd you bet you a hundred. I'd bet you a hundred gecks that you can order crickets online. Neighborhood creek, or just catch them. True, yeah. that is kind of dumb to order crickets whenever. Hey, I mean, we're all living in a pandemic. Place. Like, I think that's pretty fun. Like going out, and catching some crickets. I do know you can order. Tell that to your friends. Like, yeah, I caught caught some crickets today. What about you? Top of the morning, sir. Uh, just out catching crickets. <laughs> I'm going to play cricket later. Not the not the game. I just the... squish crickets. <laughs> um, oh, no. I do know that oh. you can order live ladybugs online. And it used to be a prank to send live ladybugs to people. And I think it used to be really big to send to, like, YouTubers who did unboxings. And the thing is, I think people don't understand that those people hold the packages for a while, so almost every time that they opened the package of ladybugs, they were all dead. It was like a thousand ladybugs dead in a box, who whose life probably consisted of, I don't, I don't know what their life should consist of, because I think the only good thing ladybugs are used for is you release them in a field, and I think aphids are good. I think aphids kill, which is baby ladybugs, and I think they kill bad stuff. No, it's but it's I may be it's, wrong. Uh, bad. it's ladybugs eat aphids and aphids eat plants, so people like ladybugs. Oh. Okay, so I guess that's the reason why. And also, hey, they're and, just so darn cute. And this week's sponsor, Flukers, a live cricket farm you can order online. <laughs> hey, Flu- h- how much how much would you be willing to pay for a thousand two week? Two week old crickets coming straight to your door. Four dollars. <laughs> oh, you're in luck. Because it's fourteen ninety. Fourteen? No, that's a thousand, right? Yeah. So people people feed crickets to like toads and stuff like that. Why you you have to have too many toads to need a thousand. <laughs> and they don't live forever. Now they do they will breed, I believe, and you can just keep crickets, I think. Because we used to have crickets. I don't remember what... Oh, we used to have frogs. Okay, so we used to have crickets. And I think we had to buy them continuously. But Yeah, you, you can... They, you can. That's like buying a thousand eggs. Well, you've got you're, purchase you're options. You can do a single purchase, weekly recurring, bi-weekly recurring, monthly recurring. <laughs> the frog dies and you just keep getting <laughs> so, crickets. Hey, but if, you forgot if, the website or something. Like, ah, I really got a call, but you just keep throwing the crickets out. If if anyone uh, if anyone listening works to fluke or works at Flukers, they have access to the shipment history. If you know the guy who's getting a thousand crickets every week, <laughs> uh, please please let us know. Take a picture of his living room. <laughs> we. Not only do we have some questions for him, but I think that the government has some questions for him. Even though I, I would say we should have him on, but the audio quality. <laughs> yeah, just... it would be. Are you standing in a field at 12 o'clock at night? They are loud too. But what? So you order one gecko and 
how much do you think that puts you under? Because fourteen ninety nine for a thousand crickets. Yeah, I get that. But I feel like one gecko costs like fourteen ninety nine. So that's like a hundred and yeah, that's like fourteen hundred dollars. What's what's the most? What's a basic gecko type? I would think that the most basic gecko would be called a a gecko. <laughs> Right, just like just like the original dog was just called a dog. Like there's a breed, there should be a breed of dog called a dog, and it'll look like a mix between a wolf and like one of those hairless cats that runs around Mexico. <laughs> I think those are the two oldest dogs. All right. Well, the geckos. Well, actually, okay. Are geckos a steal? Are geckos no, on like... sale right now? Are they breeding too much during the corona? All right, all right. The basic gecko, I believe, is the house gecko. You mean like he's a doctor and he's really good at, like, he's like kind of an anti-hero, but he's just such a good doctor that they can't fire him. He's got a bit of a limp. Yeah, he's kind of mean. He throws out wild diagnoses, but he's right in the end every time. Uh, every time. And then, and then every once in a while, he'll stick out his tongue on, like, the face of a... Like, that's usually how he figures out if they're sick is he sticks his tongue to their face and he can taste the disease. But the thing is, every time he does that, he gets the disease and he's just so sick. Uh, so... A house All gecko right. is probably those geckos that you just see on your <laughs> You, you on probably your house. have one <laughs> already and you don't know it. Yeah, everybody has this pet that just wanders around upstairs. You yeah. can buy them, but... Like, that's what, you should go to the pet store and you'll be like, hey, do y'all have any house geckos? And they'll be like, <laughs> we all do. Uh, like, you you check out on this site and it says, arrived. Uh, it should be on the wall outside of your house right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, fast oh. shipping. <laughs> uh, so, all right, those are $10 or nine ninety nine. So, that's a that's $1,000. So, 100 of those is $1,000. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's why they got into music because they're <laughs> they're in debt. Oh yeah, we had to we had to make a popular band. <laughs> oh oh, and, and then hold you on. can't return geckos. Oh can wow, you? hold on. Like these geckos are used. And the shipping on this website. I mean, they have to ship. What what do you think they're well, gonna do? Right. Throw them in a like two dollar envelope? Yeah. All right. <laughs> it's a flat rate. Forty five ninety nine. So really, uh, don't. Yeah, don't but buy. Do, do they can? <laughs> can they put all hundred geckos in one box? You know, it's a flat rate, regardless oh, of the number. Rate? So I mean, really, it it's makes 40... sense to buy in bulk. Yeah, the thing <laughs> I mean, is, they'll send you buying... that one. Like they have to have a big enough box to fit the maximum order. So if you buy one, they're sending you a gecko in, like a car sized box. Uh, and then, well, I, I guess partially why it's so expensive is it's 24-hour shipping. Uh, I, I, they, they'd make it. That, that That's one of those things, like, animals live in the wild. And whenever you ship something, it's outside. <laughs> you think they're not going to know how to live outside? That's such a such a dumb price, man. But that's really sucky that they bought a hundred geckos now the real question is did well, they then, keep them and well, wh- possibly will the band because, continue because the album of the three songs we're talking about right now is called 1000 gex now that one wasn't a mistake though and the thing is are they is the band gonna break up once all the geckos die yeah unfortunately <laughs> but yeah so a hundred gex what what would you describe nick you're the one who brought this band forward. How would you describe their sound? Uh, it's definitely not Frank Sinatra. But hey, nobody is, so don't beat yourself up. It's is it indie? Is it indie, Holly? Yeah. It's kind of like an electronic indie uh there it's like it's like they're knocking on the door of dubstep, but dubstep didn't let them in. Yeah, it's uh, electronica avant pop hip hop. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Rock, <laughs> nightcore, experimental. Hey, if you can, if you've got a hundred geckos, I think you can do anything, any genre you want. But some of the songs, I don't know if we'll be able to get to all of them. But one of the songs that we're going to do today is called Money Machine. All right, now, and now that's a movie I'd like to see. You've got Alvin and the Chipmunks, and there's just what three of them. 
mm-hmm. ha- have like the Geico Gecko and the Geckos, <laughs> and it's all like it's a hundred of them. Geico and the Geckos. I don't think his name is Geico, but it no. should be. His name's probably then, like Stewart or something. And then instead of having like the high pitched voice, the boomer, you have like the Boom. distorted. Because he's Aussie. Yeah. You have the distorted vocals. <laughs> real, real quick, Holly just mentioned something. She mentioned that the gecko should be named Boomer. <laughs> uh, we all, we when we were looking for dogs, we were looking at Australian shepherds, and Holly was like, "If we get an Australian shepherd, we should name it an Australian name." And she was like, "Let's think of some Australian names: Boomer, Rang. <laughs> That's all they do there, right? We can name him Roo." <laughs> Kang? Yeah. Kanga? Kang, actually, Kang's not a bad name. Uh, I think we should get one of those now. <laughs> Kang also sounds like he would conquer something, though, so it sounds like it would be hard to keep control of. Wait, and then... Wait, isn't isn't the kangaroo in uh, Winnie the Pooh? Isn't the mom and the baby... The mom's Kanga and the baby's Roo? I know the baby's Roo, Aww. but I... Yeah, I honestly, so. I didn't even know there was a mother. <laughs> <laughs> or we can name it... um. Uh, marmalite. Wait, what's marmalite? Marmalite is no, that's marmalade. Wait, what? No, mar. No, marmalade is that lady that Christina Aguilera was singing out. You see her downtown. You're like, ooh, marmite. Vegemite. But mar- oh, marmite is the British thing. Vegemite is the Australian thing. Yeah. Okay, so we can name them what? Veggie. Veggie. <laughs> Veg. Last name might. Vegemite. <laughs> Hey, I might veg later, but yeah. So 100 Gex, I I gotta say, Nick brings out a lot of strange songs. Uh, me and his duo episode last week was about poodles. Not last week, or our last duo episode where Nick chose a song was "Poodles" by Tallings, and it was, I mean, it was about poodles. Not a bad song, but I like this band a lot better than that band. I was telling them before the show, Money Machine may go on my like my daily playlist. My what what do you call it? My it might go on my weekly romp. Your yearly playlist. My run of the bin. Now, the music and and that's usually how I choose something that I listen to is I go for something that sounds good and whether I want I mean, it's how you make playlists like, oh, I want to go running. I guess something that can pump me up or kind of like take me out of my head. And if I want to go to sleep, I go for something kind of lulling. And I don't I don't remember where I was going with that point. Um, oh, OK. I was talking about how and, you know, it's just about the sound of it. And I, you like the sound. But then it comes down to the lyrics. And that's what we're really here for. We're really here to just discuss those lyrics. And let's see. This is a good sounding song. Let's see how the lyrics sound. Now, are we ready to go ahead and squeeze through these lyrics? Yeah. It's a little tight in here. Let me crawl through. Whoa, are those some lyrics? Hey, you little piss baby. You think you're so freaking cool, huh? You think you're so freaking tough? Wow, whoa. Why are you talking to me like that? Oh, wait, that was actually just the lyrics at the beginning of this song. That's also what happened to me whenever I first started listening to it, too. I'm like, why are you being so abusive to me? And the thing is, sometimes you want that. It's like, I think we've spoken about this before. Those people who go on Craigslist and they get somebody to come over and like, <laughs> why, why, why do I ever talk about this? They get somebody to pretend to sexually assault them. <laughs> that is a fetish. And so... That's kind of what listening to this song is like. It's like, oh, wait, no. Okay, we should actually, we, let's distance ourselves from that metaphor. Uh, wow, let's did, go, did I? Let's did go I... over here. Okay, guys, I'll see y'all later. We're going away from the metaphor. All right, so now that we're away from that, the thing that this is more close to is the thing that's been happening with the Twitch thoughts lately. Or maybe I should just refer to them as women on a streaming platform. Bella Delphine. Well, does Bella well, Delphine nah. stream? But, well, she's kind of that in her song, even. Yeah. Where they're like putting down she on guys to make them. basically the same thing as this. It's, it's like a dominatrix, song. I guess. Yeah. Nick, you've been wanting to say something. 
Hey, his, you little piss baby. baby. Why don't like, you say what you want to say? Little bean sprout. Hey, did yeah, I? You li- cl- hey, you little be- Hey, you little piss bean sprout. <laughs> uh, uh, did I? Well, when you listen to the song, you're like, oh, did I accidentally answer a call from my wife? And what's with all this interference? <laughs> <laughs> Very bad reception. <laughs> wait, why is it bad? Re- oh, wait, because of the song. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's like I don't remember answering. Is this my? Is this my mother-in-law? <laughs> I don't want to say that because I, well, we're, I'm not married, but I like your mom. But never mind. Take out that explanation. That's uh, a joke. Legally, that's a joke. Know? What? What? Like you think uh, I like her? Yeah. Holly, I date you for your mother. <laughs> what? <laughs> um. I thought you liked my heart. Well, there. So so far in this song, there's a tone. And I think that that's something that some songs are missing. Like, Justin Bieber's Yummy. What is the tone in that? Is the tone hungry? And the tone in this one is kind of mean. So it seems like you're going to be throwing a lot of insults in the beginning. So let let me try and think of something. And then, Holly, I want you to spit the next line at me after that. So, hey, I thought I told you not to come around here anymore. You with that long hair. Oh, what are you going to... Hey, how about th- this town, this four by- this sidewalk block that I consider my town, it's not big enough for the both of us, and I'm about to knock you square out of it. What do you think about that? I'm you not going to come it's, around it's your, here anymore. It's your, it's your turn to read the, read the lyric after that. You talk a lot of big game for someone with such a small truck. Whoa, whoa, okay. You got me. <laughs> Sorry, uh... Uh, you can go, all right, and then, Ugh, and then apparently, arms. all right. Did this, or like I guess this group of four lines, starting with someone with a small truck. I believe this is ripped from. Oh, this is from or, something else. Or mm, it's inspired by an episode of King of the Hill. Hmm. I okay. guess like one of them, one of them is at like an AA meeting, and he starts yelling, basically these things. At someone else in the AA meeting. Well, Holly, go ahead and read through these four lines. Wait, the four lines starting at the truck line? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Holly, go ahead and read those lines. You talk a lot of big game for someone with such a small truck. Ah, look at those arms. Your arms look so fuck freaking cute. They look like little cigarettes. I bet I could smoke you. I could roast you. Oh, I'm I'm so hard right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is what I'm into. Tell me more. Um, yeah, okay, so that that makes it. So if it is from King of the Hill, then I guess that's more of a. I mean, they, it's they more do a, have. It's more of a they, funny, funny joke than a full sexy joke. Because all right, King of the Hill, they have trucks, and they have cigarettes, so it checks out. Boomer. Okay, yeah, you're probably hmm? probably Boomer. right about that. Small arms. Boomer, it, is my dog around here? Boomer. Um, oh, I didn't know your daddy. I got to run. Talk about a truck and then, then I go to smell my beer and take my, take my truck. That guy. Wait, are, are you actually referencing King of the Hill? Boomhauer, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've never Boomer. I've never watched King of the Hill, so I, I'm not going to be able to, you know, romp around in this space with y'all. But I'll, 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 I'll try. Hey, guys, isn't that show so funny? Like, don't y'all love how they just stand on the side of the road and they're drinking and smoking. Like, isn't that relatable? Like, we're from the South. We get it. Don't we do that all the time? <laughs> yeah, then, like, oh, dang, I'll taste the heat and not the meat. Yeah, the whole propane thing. When I'm grilling meat, I, I do have a distinct opinion on what sort of thing I'm using to grill. Well, Nick, I feel like you kind of just explained away these lines, though. Like, I feel mm. like we, I feel like Holly read them. And we had an open field to play around in with these lines. And then you were like, oh, yeah, they're from a TV show. And it just became a really tight hallway that I'm trying to I'm trying to squeeze through here. But there's three of us. And it's just I can't reach the jokes about these lines now. You're just so sorry. Uh, you I'm, I'm try- trying to think if my arms look like cigarettes. Well, like they I do. Guess... They do because they're so white. If you. If you bend your well, arm, I guess and you if I had a reverse with your nose and you like close one eye, 
It looks like you have an amputated arm. That's what I see. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> if you had a reverse what? farmer's tan. A reverse farmer's tan? As yeah. in everything outside of your shirt was light? I guess like if you broke your arm and you had a cast. Yeah, and, but you always went short. And short, you wore shortless. tank tops. Like yeah. y- your arm would look like a cigarette. Because you'd have like like a tan forearm, and then it would be white. That makes less sense than. Oh well, I guess it makes a bit of sense. Okay, yeah. Hey, and that's that's one of those times where like, is she saying that my arms are smoking, like smoking I mean, hot? See, because that's this isn't necessarily an insult. Like your arms are so cute; they look like little cigarettes. <laughs> Oh yeah, so all all it's all about inflection, right? Yeah. Like, oh, look at those arms. Your arms look so Your arms look so freaking cute. They look like, like little cigarettes. Now, the next I'm, part, I don't think you could make nice. I bet I could smoke you. I could roast you unless you're talking to a dog. You know how people are always like, "Oh, I could eat you up. I could just smoke you. <laughs> I could just roast you. I could throw you in a pot." With some carrots and potatoes, and just roast you up and smoke you. You just read my lines. What you you read to there, right? No. <laughs> One two. Yeah, three. no, she, she she definitely did. Oops, she didn't say that yet. <laughs> no, I I I, oh, I yeah, remember. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Oh wait, you did read those. Yeah, just okay. that one. No, I didn't read your lines then. Hey, that's a lot of talk for you. Talk a lot of big game for someone with such a small truck. Yeah, Paul, no, you've got the small. I think you've got the smallest truck that I've ever seen. <laughs> eh. Eh. Now, let's let's talk about what this truck line could also mean. Because have you ever? Oh well, I was about to say that it could be referring to the butt, the posterior. But I think people talk about that as a trunk, not really a truck. So like back that trunk up. You know what people say that? Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, Nick. Yeah, it's nothing. Okay. Uh, Holly, can you read the last three lines together, starting with the I bet? I bet I could smoke you. I could roast you. And then you love it, and you text me, I love you. And then I am freaking ghost you. That's a pretty ha- Like, this is pretty harsh. Like, she's not going easy. And, and th- To and- be fair, this per- like the person, the addressee. To be fair, this is just some truck. lines from King of the Hill. <laughs> wait, wait, to be fair, what? The the person this is addressed to has a small truck, so that's yeah. So. It's not unwarranted. <laughs> I wonder if the first line right here that you read, "I bet I could smoke you, I could roast you," is talking about like kind of sex, and she's like, "I could smoke you." You know, whenever you smoke, you put like a tubular thing in your mouth. That's talking about fellatio, which I have to mention. I think almost every episode, and then I could roast you. Which is talking about the other part of sex that we all know or, about, where or it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like roasting a piece of beef. All right, all right, no, and, all right, all right. Smoking is the new thing that the, the smoking is the new uh, thing that the teens are doing. Uh, one one teen sucks another teen's dink, <laughs> uh, but then you have a lighter <laughs> under the <laughs> under the scrot. <laughs> Wait, so do you just get get it as long? Wait, is that? Is that on Urban Dictionary? Ah, uh, then you like suck down the fumes. I think that I think at the, at some point. Okay, so that also counts as roasting them. No, and I'm not gonna something. knock it until I try it. Uh, a roasting. So Nick, let's hang out later. <laughs> um, Ro- roasting is when uh you put on a VR. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so they just do the best you've ever had. And then it says, and you'd love it. And the thing is, they're confident about it. And they have a big truck. So you know that they're not, like, spitting lies out right here. And then you text me, I love you. And if we stopped there, if we stopped there, I could forgive about the small truck and the cigarette arms. But then she goes on. (laughs) She goes on to say, and then she'd ghost me. And the thing is, I'm really scared of ghosts. Let's talk about ghosting for a second. Holly, have you ever been ghosted? If you say no, and this is like referencing that time where I was like, oh yeah, I've 
uh, talking about breaking up when you're like, oh, yeah, I've never been broken up with. <laughs> Have you ever been ghosted? Holly, what's your definition of ghosting, first of all, just in case someone has no clue what we're talking about? I think ghosting is Do when... girls not know what ghosting is? Do they not get ghosted? Ghosting Do they just ghost without knowing? You text someone. Yes. Or, like, you make a... No, like you right. make plans with them. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. And then it's the day of the plan or whatever, and you don't hear anything back from them. Is that that's that's actually I feel like that's harsher than ghosting, but uh, yeah, I guess I would also count. I mean, it could even be taken down to as small as just you meet somebody and then they're texting you, and then they just you just never hear from them again. Would you call that ghosting? That's what yeah. I consider ghosting. And I had that once on Tinder once hey you poor thing um <laughs> me and holly met on tinder and almost well i, I think except i think except for two is this guy in england oh i'm surprised he didn't really just follow through wait were you in england at the time <laughs> yeah <was>. okay <laughs> oh yeah i guess you can't match with someone in england while you're not in england but also <laughs> sounds like the english but i'm, I'm just really trying to dig every every hole I can today but what sucks is that I like gave him my Instagram account and then yeah we had like a couple of days of talking and then I gave him my Instagram account and he never talked to me so I was like wow he must think think I'm ugly or something hey I don't think anyone could think you're ugly babe he completely like deleted me from tinder you know Mm -hmm. like un what is it like unlike or unswipe or whatever Mm -hmm. yeah he died yeah you were too hot no he he (laughs) actually he actually ghosted you (laughs) yeah (laughs) you killed him uh yeah on uh, not twitter uh yeah we met on twitter no uh we met on tinder and before you i mean i think besides two girls besides you i got ghosted by every single girl that i spoke to and i guess it's oh yeah thanks for the compassion it's okay i'm glad they did i'm with you now ah nick ghosted me no uh (laughs) but yeah it's just you'll text them for like i don't know so so, usually it was like you text them for an afternoon and then they just would never text you back. And then there was also the ones that you would text them for like three days and then it wouldn't text you back. And then there was the bad ones, like kind of what you were saying, where you were like, you, you would text them for a while. And I, I was usually pretty quick to move to this, but I was like, hey, do you want to go to a bar or something? And and then and then you start the podcast with that cricket guy. Like, that was my cricket noise. But uh, Holly... And I'm assuming that the hey. reason for that is because I'm kind of well. Nick, you also have been on Tinder. How did hey. you get ghosted ever? Uh, hey, or did you, Nick? You seem like the kind to ghost how? someone because I feel like you don't <laughs> care to say goodbye. Hey, uh, hey, how much <laughs> did I get okay. ghosted? Uh, hey, I went, I went to church every week, but only to see a priest so they could exercise my phone. <laughs> That's I thought you were much. gonna. S- I thought you were going to say you went to church every week, but it was a funeral for me because because I was ghosting so many times. Yeah, but also <laughs> I I have deleted those apps with like five active conversations going. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple times? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's you, you know uh Hinge, the new dating app, their whole commercial is like meant to be deleted. <gasps> so you should move on to that. So that's happened to me twice. I remember another time where, yeah, like, we were fully invested. Fully invested. He brought the ring. <laughs> no. They hadn't met yet, but he was like, will you marry me? But go like, on. Like, everything was fine. And then or they were going to buy a house together. Is that what you to, mean like, by invested? I went to, like, my messages, and he, like, wasn't there anymore. And then a couple of, <laughs> this is really bad, a couple of months later, like, I saw that he was back on, and I swiped on him, and I was like, Hey, <laughs> he never messaged me or anything. And then I saw him at this Halloween party like a couple of years ago with this girl that was actu- that actually dated my ex. Weird. What she's not telling you is this guy was me. And then and then 
I noticed the wrongness of my ways and walked up, walked up, said, hey, get back on that. That, map. that guy. Hey, but the thing is, that guy had a small truck. Yeah, he did. did. did j- let's talk about how small that guy's truck was. What that little pissy baby. Piss hey, baby. Uh, is, piss baby is... is way meaner than pissy baby. I want to start saying piss baby. We have to. OK, we have to see how many episodes we can go without missing saying piss baby at least once. And right, it's we, to respect 100 Gex. We're not stealing this. It's a respect thing. All right. What's what's the what's the Macklemore? No, not Macklemore. McElroy intro. Yeah, the Mac the Macklemore uh, thrift shop. The the thrift shop no, song. No, I, I'm talking about uh, that song my about brother, thrift my brother shops. Me. Yeah, yeah. The Macklemore brothers. Or it's like, hey, you cool baby. But <laughs> oh, uh. Yeah, it's hey you cool babies. What, hey, what? What's up, you cool babies? I think it's either hey or part what's up. So much. Yeah, Nick hates that too. It doesn't bother me. I hate it. I mean, in the beginning, I didn't like it as much. Hey, you cool babies. Mm. See, it's just familiar, but it's not familiar. It's a new day. What? You don't like the song? Hey, you can, you you can put down on the speaking but that's john roderick and the long winters you're not going to talk no. trash about him have you seen I, how big I, his truck is i i did prefer no, i guess you have I, I i did prefer the the old song when they were bootlegging like the first like 50 episodes before they got big they were just like stealing another song like they were stealing Wait, really? a song from an artist without permission yeah oh wait i didn't I, I thought I listened to those, and I, I need to go back and listen. Now, Maybe they've of, altered the audio. Speaking of podcasts that suck, have y'all heard Hear Me Daddy? Hey. So, speaking of podcasts with a sucky intro, have y'all heard about Hear Me Daddy? I hear the guy that no, made but, that song has the smallest truck ever. Oh, but what, what I was going to say is I can't find the text of it, but we just do the McElroy thing. But instead of, hey, you cool, or like, what's up, you cool baby? Where we say, what's up, you piss baby? <laughs> what's up, you piss babies? <laughs> what's up, you piss babies? Um, Do y'all think... Okay, have y'all read if ahead? Let's, let's stop reading ahead. Do y'all think the right, insults oh. are going to keep coming? Well, hey, uh, if they do, I will also keep coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, if this turns you on, like, feel free to just... I mean, we're not watching. Hey, go go to Spotify. We're only listening. Yeah, we're listening. This is a live show, and your audio is <laughs> being played. Go, is, go to is Spotify. That is that a is that a horse? <laughs> Sorry, guys, we're all listening to the horse right now. <laughs> go to Spotify, Nick. Go to Spotify. Type in Money Machine. Hit play. Go down to uh, pull up the options. On one side, there's going to be a loop. You're going to want to hit that. Uh, then you're going to want to hit it again so a little one comes up. Then this song's going to play on repeat. Then you just sit back, relax, enjoy. <laughs> and it's a girl speaking, so, you know, you don't have to feel bad about it. <laughs> oh, but oh, then also, <laughs> uh, you talk a lot of big game with someone with such a small truck. Is she talking about uh, skateboarders? Because they have the smallest trucks trucks of all. No, she's talking about fingerboarders. <laughs> Those guys with the tech decks. That, is is, she, is anyone still tech decking in 2020? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's oh, gotten yeah. bigger. And, and and that's not that hard because there it was, was like five ironic. people in 1995, and now it's up to like six. And so I'm just going to hate on every small niche group in this episode. <laughs> and then at the end, I'll apologize. I'll apologize for everything that I said at the end of this episode. Well, I guess I guess with the quarantine, people are like, "Man, I, I can't go down to the skate park. Got to got to skate in the house." <laughs> do you so, do you want a good skating fix, but you can't really? Do you want a good skating fix, but everybody's dying around you? And then Get also some Heelys. And then also you refuse <laughs> Heely through your carpet house. I remember healing in my kitchen. That's, my kitchen's very small. That's a really sad story. That was not. <laughs> Thanks, mom. This is really fun. So let's let's continue and see if it's more insults coming. With the big boys coming with the big stuff, I feel so clean like a money machine. Oh yeah, 
Big boys come in with the big trucks. Hmm. Now, trucks are inherently southern because they're so big that in the north, <laughs> you know how if you put a big truck at the top of a ramp, it's going to roll down the ramp. That's kind of yeah. like putting a truck in the north and it's going to roll down into the south. And so bees are just so big. And so, like I said, they're inherently southern. And same with the people. <laughs> Whenever the people get too big, they just roll down to the south. And so that's what all these big boys and the big trucks are coming from. And also yeah, it's, that it's, it's a symbol of your phallus. It's, it's sad that the... What are you talking about? It's Wait, sad what's that the, the bigger your truck bed, the longer your truck bed. So the bigger your truck, the bigger your duck. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but but it's sad that the American car manufacturing industry uh, re- has really slowed down because they used to be able to, like when when they when they uh, popped a truck out the Ford plant in Detroit, they'd be able to just put it on the road with no one in it, and it would just naturally migrate downhill to the south. <laughs> But now, and people are like, "How does it know where it's going?" But it just gets there. It knows the way. Yeah, and and the answer is it's Garmin GPS. Spon- our sponsor for today, Garmin GPSs, um, and Geico Insurance, and Ge- Geico Geico GPSs. In fifth, <laughs> we can get you where you need to go in fifteen minutes or less. <laughs> now. So far, I've 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 been able to follow along with this song through the whole thing. But she does say, "I feel so clean, like a money machine." Oh yeah, I feel like money machines right. are like the nastiest thing ever. Oh wait, are you talking All about right. those guns that shoot the money? Oh, I was just thinking of slot machines. Oh, so you just or, thinking or of like a, machines that ATM? count money? Yeah, for that. Wait, is it because of the money or because of the people who touch it? Like money. All those. All well, those it depends. Disgusting like Wall Street the... people. Slot machines, yeah, it's the money and the people, but if it's the ATM, because the money in the ATM comes straight from the... Uh, what, the sewage? It's, it's not the, the... The bank? The loader? Are you talking about those armored trucks? Yeah. Well, yeah, but all I don't think all money uh, in an ATM is un... Well, all uh, the money in there is, like, super fresh. Well, I th- fresh. They, there can be old money in an ATM, right? Or do they... Well, the thing is, so not all Either money, way, not all nasty. new money is new money. A lot of new hey. money is replacing old money. So I think a lot of money that people put in the bank, the bank do you think trades the, out for new money. The crisp for the crisp dollars. Do you think the crisp dollars are new money? N- no, I think they're I think they're a replacement of old money. All right, so here's here's who, a, who here's gets a... the clean like the fresh clean money. Who do you think gets that? Wait, no, I, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the 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 good the good stuff all right so the here's greenest. a uh, that, okay. that so they do distribute that to the public the, the banks they don't just have like and drug dealers <laughs> drug dealers have <laughs> they the don't good just money. have the millionaires touch it first and then it like just spirals down to the peasants us all all the middle m- class all money that you've held has wiped a millionaire's ass <laughs> yeah i figure <laughs> all right but here's a challenge to try and figure this out uh so all all the listeners go out to an ATM, get a, you know, usually the lowest or the consistent lowest you can get from an ATM is $20. Get that, put that in an envelope, write down the day that you got it out of the ATM and then send it in. And then uh, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do the comparisons, report back. We'll, we'll do some testing on it. Yeah. I can't guarantee you that you'll get your twenty dollars back, but no, it's going to be destructive oh, no. testing. That's, yeah, that's no, it's it's going on, it's going to geckos. <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> if you we got to feed him somehow. If you hear just like, yeah, we're going to feed him with the money. <laughs> How does this taste? Like a millionaire. <laughs> yeah, because then, because like, look, the house geckos ten dollars, but some of the pricier geckos I was eyeing, and I've got an interest in now. Uh, <laughs> Fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, a hundred and fifty dollars, and then the crickets on top of that. Fifty dollars a week. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm hooked on geckos. 
the same way that geckos are like hooked onto the wall with those tiny feet hooks. You and know what? in your ears. What? <laughs> you can put geckos on your ears. Oh wait, you're thinking of those little green and null things that like bite your ears? Yeah. Like little earrings. So we have some listeners well, people have listened to our show. <laughs> I won't say we have any listeners, but people have listened to our show from like all around the world. And do people stick lizards on their ears like earrings all around the world? Like you get a lizard and you got to get it angry enough. So you're like, look at your stupid small truck, you piss baby. And it gets mad and it starts rearing up and it opens its mouth and then you stick it on your ear and it bites down in in a way that's kind of like, painful but you kind of like it (laughs) yeah and the thing is do people do that everywhere or is that just here and the thing is you did that in your childhood yeah and i didn't know you in your childhood so we had no influence over each other's childhood and both of us have done this (laughs) although the thing is and my mom that same the thing is that lizard i don't know if it's all over the world like We have those, it's called a green anole, and I think they're a pretty common lizard. And that lizard may not be common everywhere. Like, maybe someone only has, like, Komodo dragons in their area. And if you do, I wouldn't advise putting it on your ear. Well, I advise listeners. I would would advise putting it on a bigger body part, like an arm. Just go outside, find a little lizard, hold it, pinch its throat. No, pinch the, like, their jaws to, like, open them Yeah, like, on the side. And then quickly clamp it on your ears and like let go. Boom. And, and then go inside. <laughs> if you live at home, be like, Mom, look. <laughs> and she'll scream. All right. So, And if you find another one, you can go for a cartilage piercing. And if you find a third one, you can go for a Prince Albert. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can go for a Prince Albert if you get enough of them. All right. <laughs> All right. So it's it's a, the green anole is in the southeast United States mainly. And there's a brown anole. Does it say anything about earrings? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're going to find a lot of dead lizard as earrings, like skins and stuff. Oh, think about that. That could be like something that we sell on the show. No. Just dead lizards with wires through them. No. I mean, if you... All right, so if you don't know uh, what they're talking about, type in anole earrings and you'll get it. So that's just something that people do with that lizard. Mm-hmm. And I wonder if that's because of the lizard. Is it because, like, is is it one of those moments where you're like, look at what it was wearing? Like, of course, it's going to be an earring. I think. I think this is my worst episode so far. I think it's having fun. <laughs> you're okay. You don't have much to do. I used to play with roly polies. When I was a child, I used to put everything in my mouth and I would eat roly polies. And the thing is, they also have another name, pill bugs. I've never heard of that. It's a thing. Mm. And uh, Holly, do you think freaking (laughs) scientists call them (laughs) roly-polies? What about (laughs) pill bugs? Can you hand me the roly-polies and I'm going to cut it with a Sharpie Warpy? (laughs) (laughs) An an entomologist is just like, I'm going to put it in this framey-wamey with a (laughs) T-penny linny. Do you think they call them like roll-up? Fruit roll-up bugs. Get me a fruit (laughs) roly-poly. But the thing is, I was thinking that maybe as a child, I was like, maybe this is my medicine. Maybe I'm going to die without this. Maybe this will keep the voices away. No. (laughs) Instead of experiencing with your hands, you experience with your mouth. They're they're, the the scientific name. That's what my uncle told me. (laughs) The the scientific name of a (laughs) roly-poly is a Rolex Polex. I'm going to put a blindfold on you, and I want you to guess what this thing I put in your mouth is. But go on, Nick. That's the, that's the name brand one is a Rolex Polex. Or that's Arthur, the scientific name. hand me that Rolex Polex. Are you Polex joking? As uh, I look at my Rolex I to mean, calculate the look, time it could, of its For all I know, it could be true. <laughs> Nick, the thing that you said was, like, close enough to... Nick, that was such oh. a... That was such a that was either such a good or a bad joke that I couldn't tell if it was... <laughs> If it was a joke or not. Uh, all right. It's the sci- the actual scientific name is actually the Armadillidium vulgare. 
So it's like a little. That's a really vulgar. That's a really small armadillo. <laughs> it's a vulgar little armadillo. Which hey, that's an insult. <laughs> hey hey, a hundred gex. If you want that for your hey, song. Hey you little piss baby. Why are you little rolling around armadillo? like that? <laughs> <laughs> you stupid vulgar little armadillo. Let's see what this last couple lines are. Tell me what's the deal. I've been trying to go to bed. I've been up for days. I've been trying to get ahead. Said it all before, and I'll say it once again. I'm better off alone. <laughs> okay. Uh, that <laughs> I feel like I got in a truck, and I drove way far away from the rest of this song, and I got out, and that's where this last verse landed. It seems like she was making fun of, like, King of the guys hill. with money <laughs> and then or to like make fun of them she's like haha i got you and then i'm like gonna ghost you and then she's not even giving them a chance and then it doesn't work out and she's like i'm just better off alone or is it or that, is it she's she's been hurt uh, this is serious i don't know <laughs> she's been <laughs> hurt <laughs> uh, by someone she cares about so she I guess to make herself feel better, she's treating other people poorly, but it's not filling the hole in her in her heart. And so she's just cutting herself off from people. Mm-hmm. Or I guess like, or she had like the same thing described above happen to her basically, or like she got ghosted by someone she cared about. So to like to get revenge, she's ghosting other people, but she's mm-hmm. still sad. Well. That being there, it brings in what both of you just said brings in a question. The big thing, which is, is this song just silly or do you think there's anything serious about it? Like, do you think it means anything? Because yeah. once Nick mentioned the whole like pulling from King of the Hill, I thought this was going to be kind of like a like a Peaches song where is kind of just like, fuck me till you love me. Sorry for the no, I mean, that's not expletive, but. Wait, that's not her song? Or that's not in the one song. That's the name of the song, right? That's Fuck the Pain Away. Oh, <laughs> okay. I just said something <laughs> weird. <laughs> that's what's been on my mind. But yeah, I, w- I was thinking that this was just like a uh, kind of edgy, not edgy, but like kind of a funny meme song, no, but not really even meme, just funny. Well, all right. And- I, I think they are kind of edgy because Laura... Less the the vocalist her Instagram handle. I mean, I guess it's kind of ironic, but it's XX endless underscore slaughter XX. Well, yeah, I I guess that's kinda edgy, but I don't know. I feel like I feel like anytime you reference edgy, you're saying that someone is not self aware. Like someone who tries to be edgy, I feel like is trying to be edgy to be cool, but it feels like they're being edgy to be funny which is more self-aware than I think edgy is, and I think it deserves another word. A uh, gecky. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll, we'll coin the term off of them. But Oh, then, then another fact I, about them. I'm pretty sure they had, like, a concert in Minecraft. Oh, okay. So kind of like how, what's his name, had a concert. Uh, Travis Scott had a concert in Fortnite. Yeah. So if we ever do live shows, what should we do our live show in? It needs to be um, something that is doesn't have like twenty minute games. It's something where a lot of people can come around. Um, uh, something a lot of people can come around. Come around. Uh, um, have you? Con- <laughs> is the joke you were trying to say Pornhub? All right, I don't. Uh, have you considered my ass? <laughs> um, I'm thinking maybe. Well, no, Club Penguin doesn't have voice chat, but. I think we should go for something like Club Penguin or RuneScape. Um, RuneScape is another one, but I, I kind of feel like we'll be on that uh, question of the week. Okay, so this week's Instagram, everyone's been really supportive with this. I can't, I, I can't tell you how many comments we've gotten so far. I think like over a hundred. A hundred, a hundred is like a small truck compared to how many comments we've gotten. <laughs> <laughs> and so this week's this week's comment thing is going to be go ahead and comment on the promoting post on Instagram for this episode with something like what we should do our live show on. And 
uh yeah we'll probably do that but then then i will say a live stream cause... mm-hmm. but it's gonna be it's gonna be on something like youtube come on keep, let's get weirder twitch let's... um <laughs> oh you you mad dog you <laughs> what's um, what's chan Okay, they're getting a little weird. Or, okay, what's, cute. What's someone? Oh, okay, Cupid. Now oh, we're Magle. getting somewhere. Oh, that Magle. one's. Oh, uh, Magle's kind of live leak. Chat roulette. Live leak. That yeah. That, see, I think I think Okay, Cupid and Live Leak are our best options so far. Okay, you can't. Yeah, I didn't mean to say that. You no, can't. no, that but that one was funny. <laughs> okay. okay. That, that, that's kind of the direction we're going for, because because Nick had meant because I had mentioned that Travis Scott did a concert in. Oh, so we're Fortnite. Air quote gonna live stream whoa okay yeah how about we not commit to it how about we how about we just tell them right now oh yeah yeah just just comment but we're not gonna do it you <laughs> stupid piss babies <laughs> i hope I, I hope we scare away all the listeners with this episode please don't we love you please come back but i think i think this song is probably all we have time for today 100 Gex was fun. And the thing is, since I, I watched a couple of their videos, because Nick brought up a couple of songs that we could look at, and I'd be willing to talk about another 100 Gex song in the future. This one was fun. Ever since I looked up 100 Gex music, I keep getting these commentary pieces on 100 Gex, like 100 Gex, why they're so weird. It's, I, that's not exactly what it was. But yeah, Edgy. so just prepare for your YouTube algorithm to be all screwed up, unless you like listening to music commentary in which case why are you here am i right <laughs> hey yo so uh yeah that was a good pick today nick uh so next week we will hopefully have a guest so i believe he's going to be bringing a song and thank you for listening to hear me daddy if you enjoyed it today please tell other people about it and if you could i don't i don't know people seem to like getting ratings on itunes so if you're around like apple Podcasts or whatever that is you can just throw a five star comment on there what are you gonna do with your time you can do that and besides that uh yeah just tell people about it and let them know that you think it is funny if you do if you don't lie and so besides that we have an instagram at hear me daddy and thank you so much for listening we hope you enjoyed and like usual my name is blake I'm Holly. I'm Nick. Checking in, checking out, Dolly. <laughs> or pissing in, pissing out, baby. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>